All the people are writing that you've been commenting on Liam Hemsworth's Instagrams and they want you two to get together. Just so you know, people are rooting, people are trying to manifest that to happen. I think that comes from me being in Australia, doing another season of The Masked Singer, which we're doing. Um, and then also because he surfs a lot and I work with the WOW Foundation for Waves of Wellness in Australia. So that's a very important thing for us. And so I'm working with them a lot in bringing people's, bringing people's energy together. And he serves and then people took that the wrong way. You know, we always have gossip in our life, you know that. Although Lindsay Lohan tried her luck on MTV with a show about her beach club in Mykonos, Greece, it seems in more recent news the place looks abandoned. So the question is, where is Lindsay calling home these days? In this video, we'll be taking a look at where she currently lives, her previous houses, and more. Lindsay's lived all over the place, from mansions in LA to million dollar flats in London, England, but it seems like she's living in Dubai now, and even her sister Ali joined her. But we'll get into that soon. Lindsay Lohan is an actress, singer, songwriter, businesswoman, and more. I think if you're from the same era as me, you can also agree she's an icon. A former Disney star with real talent and even her leading role in Mean Girls alone is enough to credit her for a lifetime. Despite having her share of ups and downs including personal battles, illegal troubles and stints in rehab, she keeps going and I totally love her for that. Lindsay started in Hollywood very young, so being a child star and teen icon is demanding of anyone. At the time of this recording, Lindsay is 33 years old and last I heard she was unofficially crowned the Paris Hilton of Dubai. She's been enjoying her life there, finding her place and on top of that away from the paparazzi. But in recent news, she's also planning some big moves for 2020. Word on the street is that Lindsay announced she's back with new music and what better time than now when we need it most. She posted a teaser of a new song on her socials and she may even be moving back to North America. Despite Lindsay having a net worth of over 30 million at one point, she lost essentially all of it and has to work her way back. These days it's decreased to 1 million and some say it's even less at 800k. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at where the iconic Lindsay Lohan is currently living, her old house in LA, and more. This one might be a little different because she moves around a lot and hasn't shown the interior of all her homes, we'll be putting it all together. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on other pop princesses like Jessica Simpson and Christina Aguilera and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> First of all, where is Lindsay now? She's definitely hard to keep up with recently and she's spent time all over the globe. At the moment, she's spending her quarantine time in Dubai where she's been living for a while now. Her younger sister, Ali Lohan, also looks like she's staying with her too. Through posts on her Instagram, you can see the Dubai skyline in the backdrop. And the girl's mother, Dina, also commented saying, missing my babies. So it makes sense they're together right now. Although Lindsay was supposedly prepping for a move back to the US, she returned to Dubai in February and remained there. Considering all flights are suspended, it looks like Lindsay and Ali will be staying put in the UAE for the pandemic. Lindsay recently wiped her Instagram for a fresh start, but before that she was posting about herself isolating and captioned one pic. Teamwork makes the dream work. Stay strong, stay positive, stay healthy, stay home, and pray. In her story, she also documented one evening in at her place making tacos and enchiladas while watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. Lindsay made her move to Dubai back in 2017 and even though we haven't seen what her place exactly looks like, it's reported that she lives in a penthouse apartment there. For a while, she was living between London, England and Dubai but that stopped around 2016. Lindsay lived in a flat in the exclusive Knightsbridge area of London, England and that was worth over $4 million. Unfortunately, she was going through some rough times with her then fiance including crazy fights and financial issues. Ultimately, she couldn't pay the expenses rent on this home and even face bankruptcy. From there, Lindsay found her home back in Dubai and she told Emirates Woman, moving here is a fresh start. You hear more about real current events rather than celebrity gossip, which I really appreciate. She also stayed in more frequently for chill Netflix nights rather than going out on the town. Not to mention Dubai has strict laws against photography as an invasion of privacy, so Lindsay could be away from paparazzi. She explained, I love living in New York, but I do love the serenity and peace that I find living in the Middle East because there are no cameras 
summers in Dubai, and I can actually focus on what I want to do in life. I don't always have to be scrutinized every second. I can have a private life and have a public life, but when I choose to, and I think that's really important. But it seems that Lindsay got the rest and privacy she wanted and may be ready for another change now. When Lindsay was still living in LA, what was her house like? Let's see her previous home. Around 2012, Lindsay moved into a mansion in the elite Beverly Hills neighborhood of LA amongst a bunch of other celebs. The home was slightly vintage and had an old Hollywood feel. It had white stucco walls and was set between lush trees, adding a ton of privacy for the star. Lindsay's home in the hills had four beds and five baths, and looking at photos, there was more than enough space. There were also dramatic white columns around the entryway, making the home even more glamorous. Out back, there was an unusually curved swimming pool, jacuzzi, decked with full bed to lay out on, and a dining area. There was some drama with Lindsay and her Beverly Hills mansion when she worked with Bravo TV's Million Dollar Decorator Show. They spent about 200 k renovating the place, and then Lindsay allegedly refused to film the big reveal of the home. She was on board the whole time, even shopping with the designers for fancy furniture, but all of a sudden decided against taping the final shot. Apparently, Lindsay was renting the multi-million dollar LA home and couldn't make her $8,000 per month rent payments. This could have been why she cancelled the reveal of her home on the TV show. Lindsay was even asking friends to borrow money after getting into this situation and then unsuccessfully tried to break the lease. Sources said she remained responsible for the house until early 2013 when the lease was up. The time period around 2012 was not a great time for Lindsay and she got a ton of unwanted publicity between court and five different rehab facilities. Once she moved out of this Beverly Hills home, it didn't take long for a move across the globe. All of the drama led Lindsay to call it quits on her Hollywood lifestyle in 2014. But that Beverly Hills home wasn't the only one Lindsay rented out in the area. Even before that, she lived in a French Regency style home worth a few million in the area of Hollywood Hills West. This was back in 2010. This home was a single story house that spanned 2,109 square feet of living space and had three beds and 3.5 baths. Lindsay also had a ton of privacy here considering it was hidden from the street by tall hedges surrounding the property. Other features included a garden entry, high ceilings, and French doors throughout. Inside the home, there were plenty of white walls and common spaces like a living room with a fireplace, formal dining room, den with a wet bar, chef's kitchen, and much more. Lindsay's master suite had a bathroom with both a Roman tub and a steam shower. Outside the home seemed to be lacking a swimming pool and a large backyard, but there were cute patios for dining and entertaining, as well as a two-car garage. This place may seem slightly modest, but I really love the design. I don't think you need much else. It looked like it was a perfect, cozy home. The only thing I would have added is a pool. So now we've taken a look at some of the places Lindsay Lohan is called home, including her LA houses and what her living situation in Dubai is like at the moment. Although we know she's in Dubai for her quarantine, we don't know exactly what her penthouse there looks like. What did you guys think about Lindsay's homes, from what we could see anyways. Besides all of this, Lindsay is originally from New York and used to have places there too. She still visits the city often, but claims she stays in a private home. 2014, we know Lindsay still had an apartment there. And she also spent a lot of time in Mykonos, Greece, which you probably know from her MTV reality show, Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club, that briefly happened. Now Lindsay's Mykonos nightclub she opened that served as a setting for the show is also closed. I'm managing my sister, so I want to really focus on me and everything that I have to do in my life. And, and come back to America and start filming again, which I'm doing something soon in this new year. And just, you know, taking back the life that I've worked so hard for and sharing it with my family and, and you guys. I'm jealous, I miss you both. I miss, I miss New York, I miss my mom, my dad, my brothers. You know, I miss my family and, and I miss you guys too. Last year I was there, my New York is say, better when you're here. Like I mentioned previously, Lindsay did have plans to finally move back to the US this year. They're just being put on hold due to the pandemic. On Instagram, Lindsay mysteriously deleted all of her posts and only put up some teasers of her new music. So we know that she wants to get back into acting and music again once she's back here. Lindsay also said, I'm managing my sister, so I want to really focus on me and everything that I can do in my life and come back to America and start filming again, which I'm doing something soon in this new year. So I guess we'll all just have to wait patiently for Lindsay's return to the homeland. Okay guys, now read out a couple comments from previous videos. On our Jessica Simpson house tour, 
Carrie Dillon wrote, One of the best celebrity houses, Jessica has explicit taste. Agreed, Cher, I absolutely love her mansion. And Jason McKibben commented on our Britney Spears house tour saying, This was well done, good job. Thanks Jason, I'm glad you liked the vid. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Miss Lindsay Lowen's homes and whereabouts, like where she's been for the past few years and some of her previous spots in LA. I guess we'll have to update this when she moves back to the US and we get to see her new house. What did you guys think about Lindsay's places or about that big move to Dubai? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!